Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I just had a surprise intuition notion uh, about mind control. I was thinking about the different kinds of telepathy. Um, we have the gut brain telepathy and uh, we have the mm, third eye point telepathy and we have superconscious telepathy above the head. And uh, so then I was actually on the astral plane talking to someone who was using gut, gut brain telepathy uh, with regard to me. And I don't much care for that form of telepathy. So I was trying to persuade her to, to try third eye point telepathy up here in the middle of the head. Uh, and so first I'd like to say about gut brain telepathy, I'm sure you know, it has mostly emotional um, content, very little mental content. And the well-developed third eye point telepathy has um, abstract mental th notions, thoughts, more than um, feeling in, in the thought forms there. Okay, and then above the head, more like pure consciousness, more like pure light, that kind of telepathy where the light comes in and changes everything. Light is like a symphony of, of thought and uh, sound uh, and, and motion. It, it changes so many aspects multidimensionally and multi-temporally all at once. And so that's why um, when we when we say the timeline optimization, we always say spirit to team optimize timelines for the all through free will. And people say to me on the astral plane, they say, why well, say spirit to team? I, I'd rather just say, I will optimize my timelines for the all through free will, or like that. And the reason for it is this, when we say spirit to team, we're contacting what's up here. And what's up there is pure light and the, the infinite knowledge of the higher selves and of God, of God him or herself. So that's why we have to say spirit to team. Total awareness, the awareness of the all comes in that way. So, but now back to mind control, okay? Um, so I was speaking with this lady on the astral plane about the different forms of telepathy and then she tried uh, she was going to try third eye point telepathy and how it came out this is very interesting was a kind of a pulling uh, right here on the front of my head not in the middle but on the front of my head a pulling and it felt like an attempt at mind control and the reason for this I finally figured out is that uh, when people are not well trained in the in the refinement of energy of the third eye point, uh, then a lot of uh, uh, thought a uh, feeling comes into the thought forms when they concentrate there, and so it, especially the feeling of the th of the third chakra, which is of control, and it feels like mind control. Okay, as they begin to develop their uh, telepathy, the third eye point in the center of the head, I, I have no doubt about what they're going to lose that, that se sensation of attempting to mind control someone else and instead talk more purely and more abstractly of, 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 of the truth. Well, so this is good to know, I think. Uh, it could be that all black magic is, is uh, the product of the arising f from the gut brain telepathy to the um, third eye point, finer telepathy. So a war is going on as we try to awaken. A war is going on between feeling and thought so that we ourselves are attempting to have thoughts that are more thoughtful and less emotional. And the emotions of our body are attempting to to sway us in a direction that might not be to our best advantage. It might be off track and off kilter. It might pull us farther into karma or karmic knots and like that. And so it's up to us. It's up to our will to discriminate between the two. And we can do that most easily by aligning our will with the great will of God. 
our hearts with the great heart of God and our minds with the great mind of God. According to the, um, the teachings of the Great Invocation by Dwal Cole, which you'll find in another blog. I had another thought just now about the eighth chakra, the one a little bit above the top of the head, and its clearing and a manifestation of the midway point in its clearing. Uh, in the section, blog sections that I have labeled um, eighth chakra bow tie, I talk about the influence of group leaders, whether in form or on the astral plane and without form, who are influencing our astral plays up there, up at the eighth, top, eighth chakra above the head. When we place our consciousness there and the superconscious uh, tele telepathy area um, of our energy field, Lots of times uh, it's possible to hear other people talking and giving us like directions about what to do. And the, the solution to that is to like allow our, uh, our higher selves or God consciousness or our spiritual team, whatever we feel like working with, all the same sorts of energy, to flood the top of our heads and above where the transpersonal chakras are to flood them with with the light the incoming light and that gets rid of uh, the kind of um, bow tie chakra sensation that that kind of ties up our superconscious minds with the um, telepathic like mind control of group leaders and so forth all over earth uh, could be family leaders or people in our families, not necessarily leaders, but other people that want to direct our astral plays. So, so this like um, this attempt to direct our astral plays at the eighth chakra could be considered uh, their first steps into um, superconscious telepathy. Who, which are still mixed a little with that desire form uh, stuff that comes from the lower triangle. And so when they perfect that technique, they won't be doing it at all. Similar to the notion of mind control at the third eye point, which we just discussed. So a thought for you to consider. All right, y'all. Take care. Love you lots.